Okay. How do teams identify strong purpose and mission? And what does that look like? Well, it's a difficult one because why is the team doing that? Why is the team looking out for a strong purpose, a strong mission? In the agile world, we talk about self-management, self, self-managing teams. This idea that they can take a goal and work out how to achieve it, not what the goal is. There's other people to worry about that. They may be the product owner in the scrum world, somebody who is responsible for exactly that. What are we doing and why are we doing it? They may be part of a larger organisation and they fit into a bigger picture and it will be from them. But they do need it. They need a clear and compelling goal to go after. Otherwise, why bother? Okay. So who are they going to look to? Well, as I said, they're going to look outside of the team, most likely to those more senior with more experience who are often setting these directions. Okay. And as Scrum Masters, we need to help those people understand the importance of this. Without that compelling idea, why would they care? Why would they turn up and do their best work? For me, there's really two key types of compelling goal we see for teams today. It's either the cause-based one, things like Start With Why talk about this very nicely. You know, what's the difference in the world that will happen because our product exists? How are we going to make that ding in the universe? Okay. And teams can get caught up in that. It's really incredibly powerful. It's emotional. It's evocative. Okay. I've worked in the healthcare sector and it's really easy to do this there. Okay? You're talking about the lives you impact, lives saved ultimately, better outcomes for doctors, for nurses, for patients, for the country, for the world at large. That's totally different when you're talking about that instead of what the product actually is, the nuts and bolts behind the scenes. I remember working with developers and asking them what they did and they quite rightly said, we transform data to be in human readable format. Great, you're correct, but I don't care. By introducing them to the work that they were actually doing, where it was designed to be used in the hospitals, they came away with a very different story. Yes, they still did the same stuff. They still translated information so that it could be consumed well. But they affected the decisions doctors and nurses made. They protected the doctors and nurses. They gave the ability for those doctors and nurses to give better outcomes to their patients. That's a reason to get up and out of bed for. So the cause-based goal becomes incredibly powerful. It's really easy to do, but not every company is cause-based. Not every product can easily capture onto that. And that's okay, because sometimes we just want to be the best. Okay, we want to be competence based. We are going to create the best widget that exists. We are going to be the best team that we can be. And that's great. If they can identify that, if they don't have a bigger cause to work towards, but they know they can be brilliant, that can drive many people forward. The idea that they're coming in to be better today than they were yesterday. Okay. So we work with our teams to understand the organisational goal and how it can compel them to bring their best work. And if there isn't one, what does drive them forward? What can we do that's different in the world? Okay. Why should they turn up to work and give their all? Because once we have that, a lot of the rest of it is very easy. We now have smart people who are driven to achieve a common goal. They are going to work out how to work together, how to achieve that goal. It's going to be difficult. If it was easy, we wouldn't be doing it. It's going to be difficult, but it's going to be possible because they are willing to try things out, get things wrong, learn from their mistakes, learn from their successes, hopefully, and ultimately achieve the outcome. The motivation is really strongly driven by that goal. With the autonomy that the agile world brings, the idea that they can work out how they're not doing what other people tell them to. They've been given a mission. They've been given purpose. They work out how to achieve it. And, and for me, a really important part of it, this is the retrospective is in Scrum. 
the idea that they can continually improve, they can get better at their jobs, both individually and as a whole team, means that they're constantly looking for ways to be better, constantly looking for ways to achieve that goal quicker, to a higher standard, whatever it is that works for them. And then we have a highly motivated group of people, all built on top of, this is why we work together. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.